god, what the fuck? Holy fuckery freak. Really? I do not trust you at all. How the fuck do you know that that's Dart? You are you good, see, better than good. You did so good. Yo, that was <laughs> that was some fire action there. <laughs> oh. <National spotlight. laughs> All right. Under mounting pressure, several high-ranking members <laughs> of the U.S. Department of Energy have admitted involvement in the death and cover-up <sighs> of Hawkins resident Barbara Holland who died due to exposure to an experimental chemical asphyxiant which had leaked from the grounds of the lab. Oh, we sent our own April client to Hawkins to speak to residents. Residents who told us they thought they lived. Congratulations, Pops. <gasps> and some, sometimes I impress even myself. Oh my God. Still, I left in school. Gene Hopper. How about one night out? One night? Yeah. Do you always have to be filming every single Of course. Bob would have wanted it. Are you sure people still dance like this? Yeah, it's, it's what's happening. <laughs> Is it what's happening? Yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, wait. All right, that's enough. One more, okay? Just one more. Why? You look so handsome. Oh, Mike. I love this song. You? Yeah, I love it. But not as much as I love you, Luki. <laughs> Get out of my room. Ow, ow, it hurts. It's going to be worth it. Promise. See? So, oh. remember, get in there. Dustin, you it's so you adorable. There you go, you're learning, my friend. You're learning. Hey, boy, come on. Boy, you look great, okay? You look great. Yeah, I don't do that. Uh. Dusty boy. Okay. 
snowball. What's white snow? What's the snow element of it? I know. Because it's like December time. Shit, what happened to you? <laughs> what do you mean what happened? What? Dude, your hair. Is there a bird nesting in this? Oh, what, what, what is wrong with my hair? There's no bird nesting in here, asshole. Okay. okay. I worked hard. Are you trying to ask me to dance, Stopper? No. Of course not. Do you want to? Oh, so, so. seriously. Thank God women are so much more better in this such scenario. Hey, zombie boy. Do you want to dance? Don't fucking call him zombie boy. Um, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. It's not a fucking zombie boy. I would. Um, no thanks. How do you brush that hair? Dusty, you are too good for these little chicks. This is why I hate dance. Nancy, go ahead, dance with him. Oh my god, Dustin, don't look like that. Oh no, Dustin, you cry. Hey. Hey. Wanna dance? What? Come on. Oh, look at what you're missing, Stacy. The rhythm. Yeah, there. Good. <laughs> yeah. Out of all my brother's friends, you're my favorite. <laughs> you're always been my favorite. Really? Well, the hairstyle came in after all. <laughs> yes, the cousin is still looking for him. <laughs> you two are adorable. Oh God, Bob, I'm sorry. Are you old enough? Yeah. Bob didn't deserve that. That feeling never goes away. It is true what they say, you know. Every day it does get a little easier. Ooh. Oh God, look at his eyes. You look beautiful. Do you want to dance? <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah. You don't know how to dance. You don't say. Ooh. See, girls are the best when they make the move. Ooh. Oh. Everyone's like dancing like that, like the zombies. Okay, that was episode nine. That was brilliant. I loved it. It was everything you'd expect in a finale. You would expect it to be completely on edge. You are so, you know, you're thrilled at the same time. You're freaked out and you don't know what your emotions are. And it's all running high. And you're just like, when is this going to end in terms of like the, the, like the scary element and whatnot. I completely loved the season i of course it's been a year since i watched it so definitely in terms of me coming back to it i missed this show very much and i did have a little setbacks in terms of like the like theories i was just like where are we going with this and i completely forgot say for example in season one l already mentioned that she opened the gate but in my mind, I was thinking, did she mention it? Didn't she mention it? Is this already happened? Like, I was so confused in so many elements. But I'm glad that I knew, at least at the end of the day, my facts were correct. But um, this episode was perfect. The way she closed the gate. The way, you know, it all connected where the kids and Steve had to burn the main area in order for all the dogs to come down to that place um and then it would be easier for the mind flare to close it and of course for will it was not working out uh with the way um they used their the heater and all of the you know the heat moderations around him to to burn it out of him but it wasn't working until you know they actually burn a part of the mind flare in the vine so 
I like that it was connected in that way. So um, in terms of the storyline and the events adding up to that moment, it made a lot of sense. And um, then naturally when she was closing the gate, that was brilliant and it was pretty much perfect, really. I can't even fault this episode because I think the way it started, it was like you get to learn more about where this show could go in terms of like how we picked it up from season one because Elle went to the other side and now we are finding her from the other side. She's been in hiding for over more than over a year and you see she comes at the right place at the right time. She finds out more history about herself. We find out more history about her, about the lab, about um, the experiments that were there before and naturally we also learned more secrets about the russian spies and at least also you know barbara's parents got the truth and they didn't exactly explain what happened to barbara even though we know that she got snatched into the upside down they said that you know the toxic elements in the air um caused barbara's death which is which is what was covered up all of that was like a proper good way to sort of end the show and of course the way it started really um allowed the pitch to continue on the only thing i'm pissed out pissed off about is 100 percent bob's death like that to me was completely useless even though i know i think i think i'm not sure um because there is to me it seems to be that there is sort of like a potential love interest between hopper and um joyce like they they go way back school buddies they smoke joints in the parking lot and well they have a history together so they they bond well and naturally what went on with will hopper's been there for joyce um and it's they they are more like connected than at least what bob and joyce are but you know i genuinely do not like the fact that they bring up a character so amazing like bob uh, just to show that, you know, Joyce has moved on, not with Hopper, of course, but, you know, with someone who doesn't know anything about the the situation that she was in. And I think it just wanted to show that, you know, she can also live a normal lifestyle, not with the people that know her situation, but also like she's able to like live a life outside of Hawkins. And I think Bob was a proper representation of that. And I appreciate that they at least acknowledge that like he was in that family in the dark and of course until it was time where he happened to be in it like you know he had to find out about the map and find out where um hopper was and then he had to be eventually let in to what exactly was going on so i appreciate that and i completely understand but i just think that you know bringing a character like bob and just like robbing us of that precious moment that these two had together I think it was a bit cruel, like, just killing him off like that. To me, I'm pretty sure, like, for the story, it makes a whole lot of sense. Again, as I said, maybe because, you know, in the future, uh, in season three, potentially, Joyce and Hopper could be a potential love interest. I'm not sure. Um, but I think eventually it was because, you know, even no matter how much you try and lead a normal life, if you try and bring people that are so unaware of your situation, they will eventually get hurt unless they are aware of the situation. So I think you could t try and take that from what Bob's death meant. And actually it didn't he like, you know, these uh, kids also were like, you know, he didn't die in vain. He, we should make sure he didn't die in vain. And we should make sure we kill this, um, these dogs and like, you know, find a way to like get it out of will and whatnot. And we also found out more that he was the first person, he was the person who started the AV club that, you know, the kids have more something in common with Bob and they find all these things out after. So I just think it was just like, oh, I, I'm so furious about that. Like just the death bit. I just think that the way, um, you know, the doors that just that doors keep playing in my mind. Like, how is it possible that the stupid dogs were able to get through, push the doors flat out straight and get to him? when in the when we saw hopper with will carrying will and uh bob and joyce and mike they went into the control room with the doctor and we could see like two or three demodogs were trying to break their way through that door and 
they had to like but like even with that that strength of theirs they had to like push it in like they couldn't even break it they couldn't like flat out straight let that door die i'm i think i'm just overthinking this and i'm just like taking it too personally i'm not take okay, okay it might seem like i'm taking it too personally i just feel like bobs bob was that one character that i just cannot believe like it's too good to be true he's that kind of a character and for his good heart i just feel like his death was seriously unnecessary and i just wish that even if the storyline between bob and joyce could not work out because of hopper they could have found a better way to like at least get rid of him even if they were trying to write him off but not this way i just think it was like he didn't even know anything about it and this just dies trying to save them like oh i can't like that i think that like that's what bob's thing was like bob knew be the superhero like he is the superhero in this aspect like he risked his life to save joyce and the boys and naturally the rest of the crew so now it it makes sense see again it does make sense what bob said i just think it's unnecessary is what it is and then i truly like the introduction of carly i wish we saw more of her um but uh i really liked her um her powers and even i i thought that she might be a, like in addition to the finale but naturally it didn't make sense to have her because her powers i don't know how it would help to close the gate um i don't know how she could maybe create an illusion for the mind flayer but um it was good to know that jane slash uh, 11 has a past with carly and it was really good to see their side of the story i think that's what they were trying to do like it's not like uh, they are ruling out that side of jane's life like what happened before she was um you know before she was taken into as a lab experiment and now we can finally see that you know uh, i think hopper needs to wait a year before he can adopt her i think i'm not sure what that was but um he was asking if she can go out for one night because i think maybe for one more year she has to stay indoors before they can be like okay it jane because i think her name is associated with um with the russians and i think the russians will easily find her and use her as a and as an experiment and get to her and i think them adopt like a hopper adopting her will the paperwork will take some time and i think that's the reason why they said that she might need to go into hiding again and need to be kept under cover or not under cover um like under radar for one more year and at least for one night if she can stay outside and you know just be a normal kid who's ha like you know attending a dance um but yeah this episode was fan freaking tastic um i hope you guys enjoyed it i truly did i loved it very much i remember i think in season 1 i cried my eyes out with the way it went but in this episode i just felt like that power and energy and i was like pumped for it and it was really good like thank god in one show at least i feel like i cried once but i'm not as much but i'm very proud that i'm not crying because i feel like i've been crying for this entire like past 3 months and i'm tired of crying so i'm very excited to see where season 3 goes and i hope we get to see more about what we saw at the end in terms of the mind flayer getting a peek at school because the mind flayer is naturally trapped so it's not dead but it's still there so how are we going to how is the mind flayer now going to come to the real world because i'm i'm, I'm a bit curious if she's closed the gate i hope nothing triggers to open that gate again i genuinely do not <laughs> no I, i you know i'm ruling out any possibilities it can i think that gate can naturally open back again and that's how they will come back but in terms of adding it to the storyline because it might just seem repetitive so in terms of adding it to the storyline what exactly will happen so very excited for season 3 thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this finale please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family I'll see you in season three. Bye.